Hi everyone, Chef Adela oh, yeah. Welcome to the interview. And today yeah. I have Albert on with us. So Albert has a very inspiring and incredible story. He had decision anxiety for many years and he had gotten to the point that it was really bad. But, and he had, he had tried many things, many solutions, many therapies. But now he feels much more present, much better, much more relaxed, much more here. So like all my students, he had tried, you know, therapies, classical, talk, analytical, all kinds of therapies. But nothing seemed to offer to really get at the core of the problem and to offer a solid solution until he found me. And now we are here sharing this, this story. Hi, Albert, and thank you for being here today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Happy. Awesome. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad that I'm no longer uh, uh, studying and, and trying to get a master's degree in depersonalization. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I've heard it a million times, you know, uh, uh, stop, stop um, um, researching it, but yet I still, yet I still did. I still continued. And, um, you know, I, 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 I don't anymore. I don't. Uh, I great. put it, I kind of put it instead of in the foreground and the background. Mm -hmm. So what was your situation when we did the skull recall, which I think was like a month and a half ago, um, roughly. So what was your, before that and what were the main problems or symptoms or feelings, your, the challenges that you were trying to solve and overcome? Uh, I was in a uh, relationship that did not uh, serve me. And this had a dynamic about it that uh, people could spend decades and remain in a, a relationship like this, you know, call it trauma bond, Stockholm syndrome, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it, 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 it's an extremely um, difficult, like matrix type thing to get out of. And I, I freed myself and I, 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 uh, I'm doing much better as a result of that. And, um, uh, I've heard things before, like it's now or never, if not yet, if not now, when, and it never sunk in, but in, in working with you, for some reason, you know, I, I, I acted on things. Uh, whereas okay. as before, you know, I knew the principles, I heard all the cliches, but um, it was more to uh, soothe me than to take any action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soothing validation. The theory is, you know, intellectually this is what you do, is it? But then uh, what, is the, what is like the actual change in all the emotion, the change in the emotion, right? Right. So, okay, so the, the marriage and then also what are the, because I know that they're, they're, they're um, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, definitely there were other challenges they were experiencing or, or symptoms or feelings that were overthinking all that. So, are the challenge that you experience the main challenge that you that you want to work with uh, for you want you want to I know um, another thing that that uh, really bothers me a lot about uh, well let's call it the classic name BPDR was um, when it would come over me around people it it really it really really uh, um, it bothered me. I, I was ashamed of it a lot. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll get some symptoms of it now. Not not uh, as, as strong, but um, I'm not so out when I'm around people or socializing. Uh, I just kind of, um, I don't really uh, question it so much. I don't really worry about it as much. Do you feel like you're much more, you feel so, like much more respected too, much more like uh, present and just okay? Yeah, I would say uh, uh, engaged, engaged, you know, in, in life. engaged, yeah. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Instead of, uh, you know, studying this as, uh, as the ultimate uh, eighth wonder of the world. So what for people watching what did you try to solve this what solutions methods and oh, uh, you know I, I think it became kind of uh, uh, also a habit to study this so I also it was very painful I can't I can't deny that uh, depersonalization is not painful because if it wasn't painful there would be no seeking help for it. So in uh, my case, I have I went through it 
chronic, chronic's not exactly the right word because it would subside where, you know, things would be okay for a while. And then, you know, decade after decade uh, uh, with this. And so I, uh, I read many uh, articles. Uh, I had a, a book on it, uh, therapy, where uh, I, I believe the therapist um, really didn't understand it. I bought a, uh, I bought a course online. I actually had two courses online. One was a uh, written course, PDF download. The other mm -hmm. one was uh, audio teaching and it was a tremendous amount of theory, which was very interesting and right. I felt it was right on, but as far as uh, me stopping the addiction or whatever you want to call it to uh, researching it uh, still continued. And then YouTube became uh, eventually a sensation that covers every topic. And I, I, I watched a video, a relentless amount of videos. Uh, so you're very, you're very smart. You've learned a lot of things about this. So I'm curious, like, why do you think the way the things you had tried and started and researched didn't work and didn't like get, like, why do you think that didn't work? I feel it didn't work because I never interacted with anyone that, that challenged me to let it go. It, 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 the, the theory was was uh, soothing. I felt it was right on, but there was nothing to challenge me to say, you know, hey, it's in the time to give this up. Uh, even though, say, give it up, uh, that that doesn't mean that, yeah. you know, I still I, I still don't have some, uh, you know, come over. If I'm real t tired and work physically a lot and extremely tired, yes, I'll still feel it. But uh, I mean, I it's, a, it's say... a protection of throat. It's not that it's, it's not that it's bad. It's just it's when it's the context. If it's always, that's a problem. But if it comes like only when you're feeling really really stressed, I mean, right, right, it, it's, right. It's, it's telling it's, you, hey, it's stop, it's like, always... slow down. Yeah, it's, it's a exactly. kind of notification. Like you, exactly like you say. If it's always, it's a problem. Yes, or often, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm curious, what made you decide to work with me? Um, when I, I, I saw you uh, on YouTube, um, I felt you had something different to address, a, a different way of addressing it as far as um, what are the emotions going on? Because it is is talked about so much as a robotic emotionless state mm. and here somebody has come along and saying well what is the emotion that's going on and so i thought you know well maybe maybe it's just not about being spaced out and robotic maybe maybe there is a feeling or emotion still going on here and because that struck me very interesting. Because we make it robotic because there are too many oscillations. <laughs> That's the point, right? <laughs> the what? <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, because we make it robotic because there are too many oscillations. People end up in this in the states after they after breakup, divorces, like after there is some kind of a too, a lot of uh, emotional stuff going on, and that's where we make it robotic. That, that's the the protection, not the the. Not the real problem. Right, the real problem right, is what our right. oscillation is all about, right? Um, right, and I, yeah. I certainly went through some extreme traumas that, that did induce this state even further. Um, so along with with, with the um, robotic, I feel like people like me and the others uh, were prone to uh, prone to this to begin with and then things come along and just kind of kick it and kick it in so to speak mm -hmm. yeah. so what are the main uh, breakthroughs or results improvements you've noticed or that you've learned they have really changed the way you feel and the way they changed your life or relationships or your work or your life direction that really what you've got out of it pretty much 
I've gotten out of it um, uh, a lot less procrastinating. Um, if, if, if something's bothering me in the past, I would procrastinate a lot. And now I feel like I, I'll ask, I'll open up my mouth and ask something or ask if Proctor. I could have something or what's that? Proctor. Pro you say that? Yeah. That's so as yeah. far as feeling yeah. calm, connected, present, relaxed, calm, that's how do you feel now compared to how you were before? Oh, I, I, I have, uh, uh, more of that. I'm able to, um, I'm able to sit down and, uh, relax. Relax. So how long did you, yeah. did, what, <laughs> how important was that for you? To relax, to let go, to be calm, to be more present, to be here. After, after how many years did you, weren't you experience that? Oh, I, I would go through chronic spells, you know, um, uh, I, I would say, you know, it could go all the way back to uh, my late latter teenage years till now. It's a and massive result. Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you happy? It's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I, uh, I'm happy. Yeah. 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 So I'm curious, yeah. what was the most transformational part of working together? The one that really helped you the most? Or did you I find think the two or? things, I think the two things that helped the most was um, in the hypnotic state, uh, going back through some trauma. And the other thing that helped the most was uh, kind of interacting with an expert and uh, being challenged to let go. Being challenged, not validated. <laughs> huh? Yeah, being challenged, not validated. Because validation is like I'm giving you more of what you have. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, because, you know, I see people like going to self help groups, they go, yeah, because of this, they, they want to vent, you know, talk about it, explain it. Like, do you want to solve this? Like, just solve this? Or do you want to kind of explain or vent? Like, what do you want? And I know this sounds like we assume that just because what someone has a problem means they won't solve it. It's not the case. Because I see people, it's not the case. Like, I see people like, on groups, and like, like what, what are you doing here? It's like, here's the video, like 20 minutes. Okay, learn how to solve it. No, but it's too long. I don't have time for this. But it's like, what the fuck? I mean, seriously. All right. So, that, that's that's the status of, of like the most people unfortunately but that, that's what they chose it their, their choice and that's fine then that's what they choose so i'm curious i'm curious if i paid you to do this because <laughs> because now some people watching they go oh but you know is paying the these the students to to have this chat uh, to tell them this did, did i pay you oh no 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 uh-uh. But the people are watching this, they go, no. yes, but, you know, bullshit, right? So, no, right. I, I, I was, I was, I'm, I, when you asked me to do this interview, I was open and willing to do it, and here I am. All right. All right. So, so, as far as the results you've gotten, so... What can you do now that you couldn't do before? Or do you find easier to do now that was challenged, challenged to do before? Well, number one, I, uh, I doubt I would have uh, uh, set myself free of a, a non-serving relationship that uh, was causing pain. Like how important is this, Albert? I think the results you've gotten. Oh, that, that was, uh, Cause, cause that was just, a big cause, one. Yeah, because this is what, because I know that people are thinking of this. Oh, but is if it feels better? Like, because uh, they're going to ask me in the comments, like, because I know that thing, like, oh, oh, does it feel better? Like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you just, just pay him? Like, oh, are you sure? Like, you know, they're asking all, all these questions because they, they are like in, 
stuck in their like anxious questioning reassurance all the shit so they project all the stuff and when they actually watch a, a success story they project all the stuff even when it, when someone is actually being successful so how important is this to have the results you've gotten in this in this collaboration compared to how you were before, before? oh this um this uh means a great deal to me because um I'm uh, starting to, as they say, get up there in age. So, hey, you know, I want to have the, the remaining uh, lifespan, uh, good years, you know? So it, it was vital to do something about this because I didn't want to carry the, carry this with me all the way to the end. I mean, that would really suck. Uh, to, you know, to, to finish out life still, um, you know, screwed up like that. And unfortunately, some people yeah. choose that. Some people wow. are there. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. They, they, they I, you up. know, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that I, I'm sad that so much of my life was spent. I think back to so many family events and that it's like, I wasn't there. You know, and then, and that's, that's still sad to think back on, uh, you know, how much I miss, I missed out on. And for this remaining time, I, I said to myself, you know, I, I want it good. I, I don't want to finish out my life this way. And I'm sure you're going to get the most out of it, make the most out of it. Or, right. Right, right. And I'm not the kind of person looking for, you know, bubbly ju jumping up and down happiness. I'm looking for peace and serenity and, and being, I'm kind of quiet at times, being uh, being a relaxed, uh, of course, you can't be relaxed all the time. Life throws cards at you, but be relaxed and, and enjoy uh, as, as much as I can. And now you have the keys, now you have the skills and the keys to do it. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's right. So, wh so when you're thinking your life, of your life now, what are you most looking forward to? Or excited about, or that was possible well, we, thanks to what we've done? Well, I'm excited when I get things squared away, once some more time passes to um, potentially get in a good, good, good relationship uh i think my judgment's better now uh i also um have been in uh i'm a magician uh so side sideline and i'm a, a creator of magic illusions uh for magicians and uh i'm looking forward to um do to do uh well i i had a vision for magic to I call it to get to the end of the, get to the uh, end, the rainbow, so to speak, with this whole uh, collaboration I have in my head. So I, I would like to reach that that goal and to um, spend uh, more more quality time with uh, my family and friends, kind of the friends I haven't talked to in quite a while. Uh, Reconnect. That's right. So I'm curious, like looking back, what would have happened if you didn't work with me? If I didn't work with you, keep keeping on that I path. I would have. I would have kept kept it going. You know, I would have. I would have been. Uh, I I would go through phases where I would watch a lot of videos on DPDR. And, and uh, then I, I would still have uh, be very worried socially about it coming over me. That would still be going on, and uh, the pain of it. I, I I I I went through a lot of pain with this condition, and that in itself is uh, a very difficult. So remember, like so all, 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 of, mm -hmm. all of that would have been continued, I would say. Mm -hmm. All of that would have continued. Because uh, yeah, I know people are thinking, watching this, and they're thinking, well, but I didn't mention overthinking, self-doubt, anxiety, 
Um, so what about all that? Where is all that overthinking, worrying, anxiety, and well, fear is going? As far as that goes, I'm more confident. So do I have anxiety come over me? Sometimes I do. Uh, but I'm more confident now. And uh, actually, my I, I, uh, I could be, uh, if I want to, on the occasion, it's right and pretty entertaining <laughs> without performing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, Real, I, I would real. say I'm more. Com I would say I'm more confident. That's why I feel less anxiety. You can protect yourself. You don't need the protection. And less anxiety because I'm proactive. If something's haunting me, I'll I'll uh, uh, look into it. I'll I'll ask questions or I'll I'll try to find out what's going on. So I'm curious. Whereas before, before I might not open up my mouth, you know, and then I wouldn't know why. And so then I'd be, I was, here's a good way to put it, spending time in the dark instead of asking a question or doing mm -hmm. something. I'm sure it's going to keep getting better and better. Yeah. That's why, yeah. that's right. So I'm curious. All right. So, so to people that are are putting off solving this, or they procrastinate, or they keep watching videos, what would you tell them? Like, imagine someone is like, what I uh, with this what and they I go, would tell oh, them. And what I would tell them is um, to. I would tell them to. you know, consider the possibility of, there is a possibility to be um, challenged in a way. I don't know if that's the right word, but there's all, uh, also processing emotions also mm -hmm. took place in working with you. I would tell them that, um, watching videos i've never been on a forum but being on a forum you're going to hear it a million times that you know by on these videos to stop watching videos but still watching videos to interact with an expert meaning you to um hey let's look at this let's look at finally giving this up and you're the person to go to for that because you've been trying a lot of stuff. You, you've been trying a lot of stuff. So because the, the, the solution, tried you, all this, I've yeah, tried yeah, all, yeah, I've tried all, yeah, yeah, you've tried, you've yeah, tried them all. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been through this road decade after decade. So I'm not somebody. I, I call it a a, fl a fleeting like DPDR, where somebody might have it where they're not prone to it and they mm. have a short span with it that's gone in that case it's different but for those of us where it continues to haunt us then um i would i would point him toward you as somebody who is going to work with uh with someone like me to really work with it to say goodbye to uh goodbye goodbye to it Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> um, because, um, yeah, I, I would sometimes I would say to myself, if, if what I'm studying, if what I'm studying is working, you know, why am I, why am I, why am I just continuing to work on it work on it i think that becomes kind of an addiction in itself mm, 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 yeah i mean many people are it does it's like this it's educated people smart people but just even they they know the theories and how it works the the, the bio, biological yeah. fight and flight the nervous system all this shit there yeah. <laughs> but why yeah. they haven't figured it out because <laughs> <laughs> that's the, knowing more doesn't make a difference how you feel you know Whereas the work that we've done at times was even funny. We've laughed many times. 
So it's not a it yeah, yeah, like this intellectual yeah, thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's we've laughed, we're we yeah. telling jokes. Yeah. So yeah, 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 exactly. Right, 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 right. And um, if there's any doubt, I mean, anyone has, I I know what I absolutely know what it is. You know, um, and I it I know it's painful and. So there's no doubt I've been down that road, and I, uh, you know, and when I got hit with heavy events, you know, here we go. It's chronic, so it's not like I don't, I don't, have, I didn't have like some light version of it. You know, I I would say on a scale of one to ten, you know, I know what a ten is. I definitely know what a ten is. So it's not like I don't know. Uh, what this what this feels like I, I definitely do so um to work with you i would i would say um this is definitely the the place to go uh as far as to say hey you know what it's it's finally time to let it to let it go That's right. As like you say, I theories and intellectually wise, I you know, I would um sit in a chair and to try to apply all that. There's so much chatter going on that you don't even know what people are talking about. They're certainly not talking about this subject because they don't know what the heck it is to begin with. So, yeah. <laughs> right. So now, allow me to say this, you are, you've done it. Like you, you, you are after many years. So people have no excuse. Do they? Like, what excuse would mo most people could, uh, could they have that would stop them? Or things you would say to yourself that would stop you from taking action? Oh, yeah. I, I would think the excuse would be um, that, that, it, that it's possible maybe to do. Yeah. I would think they, you would think that you would tell yourself it's not possible to. Um, let this go because um, a belief that this is uh, a belief that this is something that you have to more uh, cope learn to cope with mm -hmm. and instead of uh, a possibility of you know to let it go Cope with or accept it, destruct yourself, you know, you know, all that stuff. Oh, oh, that, that, yeah, I, that's, that's uh, one thing that came along was, um, became very popular. And I thought it was so cool was acceptance. And, you know, oh, it, is, it is popular. It, it still is. <laughs> At least. Yeah. I mean, popular, even People to the point up. of telling yourself, I love my depersonalization yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm doing and I'm walking around doing all this stuff. <laughs> like, you know, does this work? <laughs> There's so much chatter in my head, fighting myself to accept it. You know, when something's painful, like, like if you stick a needle in your hand, I mean, how do you say, oh, I accept it, you know? <laughs> Thinking more. <laughs> Pierce my heart. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. I love it. Pierce, yeah, pierce my heart. Yeah, do it. Come on. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I won't die. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, it's like you're telling yourself, in a way, you're telling yourself a direct lie because it's a painful condition. How, how can you um, accept this? This is so in your, when it, when PPDR is revved up, it's so in your face. How can you say, oh, I accept this? It's, it's painful. Yeah. Because you know it's not even the problem. It's a painful protection 
but it's not even their problem. It's like, I, we never touched into Yeah, yeah, did. yeah. And uh, I, I really, I really worked with working on accepting it a, a lot. And uh, like, you know, this, this isn't really getting me anywhere either. Accepting, meditating, grounding, you know, all that. Yeah, oh, I've, I've hypnotized myself. I've, I, you know, I, and this is all I, 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 I see what I see what drew me to self improvement was this, and uh, you know, I had a huge metaphysical collection of all. I, I started in the early days with Alan Watts, and then but from the esoteric to Albert Ellis to, uh, you know, Stuart, Stuart Wilde did make me laugh and on and on and on, you know, in the self-improvement world, I believe that if I never had DPDR, I don't think I would have got into self-improvement. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, it was fascinating a lot of it. But uh, as far as uh, helping me with this, um, no, no. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, oh, okay, uh, oh like su supplements. Supplements mm. were another big thing. Uh, you know, I tried every supplement under the sun, and did I get some relief? Yeah, yeah, I did. But uh, um, I went down that road. I combined that and acceptance, uh, accepting it, and all that. And, I've, I've, I've ran the whole gamut with this and even, even, you know, even got into self-improvement addicted to that. So I'm curious, what do you, how do you think that it was possible to do? Cause we did a few, just a few sessions, like a three, four, four session, I think, uh, just so a few hours, um, to do what we've done. So, so um, in this short amount of time, what one could do in many years and many decades. How, is it, how, what do you, how do you think is, this is possible to have the, to have this kind of transformation with just so little effort and time? Because people think, how, how is it possible? I, I, how, what the? So, you know, you've how, how is it possible, or at least what you think of it, that it's possible to have these results and this transformation in such a short time? Like, what, what's the secret? Well, I think it's possible because, um, going down to some deep emotion where, um, you know, I, I really, uh, really got there. Uh, and the, the deep emotion uh, pro, uh, process. And I also feel that like as far as setting myself free from a non-serving relationship that if i would have went to counseling i would have went there and talked it over and i would have soothed myself and i what would have happened is that would have had a counter effect keeping me in the situation and so i think by by uh, actually, at some times crying and um, crying and working through that and ta talking, talking, uh, Talking, talking, um, talking about things that were very, very, very difficult, and <clears throat> having some laughter, and be, and I, like I said before, having somebody, you know, interact in a way uh, uh, to to in a in a challenge to say, hey, you know, it's it's finally time. It's finally time to, to let it go. Because I, 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 I don't think that, um, obviously the way I was going 
wasn't working. Um, it wasn't working. So I'm trying to think. What I'm trying to. I, I would say. Um, in the short term. I would say that the why it worked in the short time is I started taking action in my life. Did confidence went trick confidence went up. Confidence went up and I became proactive. And DPDR took a back seat. Anxiety, doubt, all that stuff. All the family of protections, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what took the front seat? And what? And what took the front seat? Is the conference... What, what? what took the front seat? Took the front seat. Took the front seat. What, what, what brought the confidence on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just, just, just saying, what, so... Protections leave and you feel much better, confidence, all the good stuff, calmness, all that. All right. So a recap before we wrap it up in a moment. So what are the main the main breakthroughs, Albert, for all people watching this? If you were to tell the them, okay, I've done the roles, uh, this is what I've done. The main break the main breakthroughs, I, I don't study DPDR anymore, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, I'm getting up in age, so I'm going to enjoy uh, as much as I can. I uh, set myself free of a relationship that is nearly next to impossible. Many people remain in the kind of dynamic that I was in decade after decade. Uh, when, when I get a mild, mild flare of DPDR, I don't have all the rattling and you know, conversation going on in my head, forcing myself to accept it or any of that. And uh, I don't apply all the, 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 those kind of theories. Uh, I, uh, when I don't, when I need to know something about something, whether it's a doctor visit or whether it's a, a whatever a paper or form that needs to be taken care of, I don't uh, procrastinate like that. And I, I have my, my, I have my focus, um, you know, what, what can I do today to go, to go forward? That's right. You know, what, what am I, what am I doing today? That's moving me forward and kind of, uh, I remember, uh, years ago I was up in, uh, my family had a lake house in Hayward, Wisconsin. I was talking to used car salesman. He used to live in Illinois and, you know, he said he moved up there and, you know, he got his job there and he never looked back. And so it's kind of not looking back on, uh, on all this stuff so much either. Uh, every day is kind of like, you know, what's, what am I, I don't care what it is. How am I moving forward? And that's how important it is. That's right. How important it is to have this feeling. Oh, it's extremely important because uh, that means that, you know, good things are coming and uh, that, that I'm pointed in the right direction. Okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not stuck and idle. So now, let, 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 let me practice. add this because I, I know what people are thinking now. You know what they're thinking? Oh, but you see, you see, he, isn't got, he didn't get rid of the remaining symptoms. Now, let me answer this, that question. This remaining stuff is going to live on its own. It's not that we do a session yeah, yeah, the that, next day, right. right? So I'm going to answer all those people that are thinking, oh, you see, you see, I knew it, I knew it, all right? Look, you, you've had this for like how many years, decades? Like uh, you said 30, 40, 50 years? Like, oh, I don't know, right? 40, 40 plus, yeah. 40 yeah. plus. Yeah. So 40 plus. It, would be, it would be a lie to tell you, okay, <laughs> do the session, tomorrow you're going to like, why I'm saying, tell wrong at that. So we build the foundation and then the rest, like over the rest of the remaining symptoms, remaining protection, yeah, remaining, yeah, yeah. Thinking, just leaves with exactly. confidence with good, good stuff. That's it. 
Exactly. Exactly. And when you told me, when I brought it up about the remaining, you know, come over fleeting times and you said, that'll take care of itself. I says, you know what? Yeah, that'll take care of itself. No need to obsess on shit. No need to think about it. Right. Exactly. 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 So even though it is fleeting, I, when, when you said that, that sunk in, I said to myself, you know what, you know, it'll take care of itself. Yeah. So, um, so I'm curious, how I important is it uh, to, have, to have it fleeting rather than having it chronic? Isn't it much better? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a world of difference. Yeah, it's a world different. of difference. I, right. uh, you, you know, I'm engaged. I'm, I'm happy to be doing things again and, and not, and not uh, uh, you know, be like a zombie and spaced out all the That's time. Right. So now, now, Albert, <laughs> now I'm curious, now I'm really curious after this, this chat that we had. I'm curious to know all the questions people are going to ask me in the comments. I'm curious, like, oh, but did you pay him all this bullshit that invent people, uh, people invent, like, whatever, the, the, their assurance, are you sure, all this shit. I'm curious to, to, to see the comments down below, because, <laughs> you know, whatever. So I, uh, I, feel, I feel like you're, uh, you're for, the symbol of, of success, because you've done, you've done the impossible. You've gone through so much shit. And here oh you are. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, probably no one. more than probably, probably more than the average DPDR person. Um, There's no, uh, no as, 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 as far as as far as getting paid, as far as getting paid, I'm surprised anybody would think that in the first oh, yeah, place. Yeah, 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 they would. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I, see, I myself. I see all kinds of. I myself, oh, I myself would think that because. You know, why would you want to pay somebody to begin with? I mean, why would you want to give your money? <laughs> you know, that's just you know, so I, to I, me, I, I would look. I guess, I guess maybe some people look at it, you know, getting paid, but I myself would never, would never read or look at and write comments always getting paid uh, because to begin with, because I wouldn't really think along those lines. Maybe I. But um, for the people that do know, no, I didn't get, I didn't get a dime for this. <clears throat> <laughs> right, because I, I see uh, like all kinds of. Uh, I, I mean, I, plus, 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 uh, plus, I'm working, so I really don't need to get paid. <laughs> yeah. So people, yeah, people project their stuff and they think it's yours. Actually, it's theirs. Well, uh, whatever. Right. So, what is the number one piece of advice, Albert, that for? For people that are in the same situation you were in, and the, so what, what would be the number one piece of advice? Again, I haven't told you to say anything. One, this is just spontaneous. The number again. one uh, oh, shit. piece of advice is um, to say, hey, you know, if you've been through the road like me and you've done the whole gamut of everything under the sun, it would turn to you and give it a go. And um, look at the possibility to say, hey, I'm going to give this stuff up. <laughs> That's right. And so is there anything else that you'd like to say uh, to me and that you'd like to share with the, with the audience too? Um, let's see. I, I'd like to say that um, uh, thank you. Thank you. And I also like to say that life's a lot better to give it up and then not, to not be uh, looking for the next new formula, the next new theory. And you hear it a million times, quit researching it. But to really do that, turning to you, working with you, that is when I really did do that when I really stopped doing that. And does that mean I ignored uh, the DPDR? No, no, it, it, it's fleeting, it's not very intense. And sometimes it could be a result of that I'm very tired or I worked all day long. And, it's appropriate. Or whatever. Appropriate. Yeah, yeah. So um, my advice is, um, You've tried everything under the sun and it's impossible. Now you've reached a point. It's impossible to believe that, hey, I could let this go. 
I would say, yeah, um, yes, and to work with you. I'm sorry. Excellent. So we're going to wrap up in a moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. So, yeah. Anything else? Then we're going to wrap in a moment. So, yeah, just for everyone who wants to, for people who they want to do this, and it's their number one priority. I'm going to leave the link down below the discovery call. Now you have the possibility. Do it now. Oh, that's and the next, other key next, point. Next, uh, week, next yeah, month, the, next uh, year. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, that's, that's the other key point. I, I, I've heard it a million times, if not now, when, never, you know, now or never. But when I did the, uh, what did you call the first call? The, um, what's the, that the, called? The discovery. 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 Um, you know, I heard you say, if not, now when or it's now or never and before that was just like oh you know that would hit me as a cliche but when i talked to you for some reason you know that that hit me in a way as yeah yeah i you know it finally is if not now when you know it hit me that way before it never did but when i talked to you it did for some reason yeah because there's a specific way of doing things you can see the same thing I mean, the, even the, the conversation that we had, the, the last two sessions that we had, didn't it look like a normal, no, a normal conversation? Like it was like uh, we were having fun, like as if you we were like friends and like yeah, having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> the only, that's, the, that's the other thing I wanted to say. I know it's been on a little bit heavier side during this uh, interview, but <laughs> you know, the, the, it, was, it was fun to have fun too. And, and, and working with you, it, it was fun to, to really laugh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you are, I mean, you're funny too. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I, I, I really, I really enjoyed, I, I did enjoy having fun too. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best way when you, we work on painful stuff and we can trans, transmute into, into some love and some compassion, some good stuff. Yeah, it's just stupid, funny stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you for this, for taking the time to do this. I'm sure it's going to inspire many people. The right people. The right people. Because not, you know, the right people are going to yeah, watch, listen, yeah, they're going to understand. Yeah. And then the other are going to go, oh, but what if, what? and they're going to ask like all the stuff. And they will just be continue doing the same shit or going to go on forums or they actually watch success videos and they go, oh, it can't be possible. Let me go and self up groups, you know, whatever. Yeah, that is their choice. you know what? There's one, there's, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. uh, being this is an interview, maybe at times, you know, I, I couldn't think what to say or maybe I was a bit intense or you know, when you tell somebody they're going to take a test, all of a sudden they kind of freeze up or interview. So, you know, I did kind of have that going on during this. So just who's ever watching, keep that in mind. This is a, an interview, so I might have uh, been a little yeah. more tensed up or a yeah, little, yeah, little yeah, more un 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 unnatural yes. about it. So, so this wasn't me and you just kicking back and laughing kind yeah. of thing. I was being asked questions. and. Yes. Sometimes I'm not the, the quickest person in the yes. world to have the thoughts come to, come to mind to say. So I just want to put that out. There. Yes, absolutely. It, yeah. Being it's an interview, I'm kind of in a different context and yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of just kicking kicking back and talking, so to speak. We're, but we're like we are like substance, <laughs> don't we? Right. All right. A bit, a bit, like, a bit, people <laughs> like we like substance. So even though you, you didn't present in the best way the right people are going to understand the substance right which is the oh, transformation okay. yeah, yeah. yeah so even yeah, though it's yeah, not like yeah. uh the most the best the best presentation i mean sometimes i even make uh, uh grammar mistakes in the videos i have my beard like all over the place i like like the hair like Dude, give give a shit the, the, the con the substance is what matters isn't it right yeah so, yeah yeah so that's what we like to do and uh that's it for now thank you for the time albert i'm sure it's going to inspire all right people. giuseppe
because it's uh, pretty early in the morning over here. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh, 12, 1 p.m. almost. All right, that's it for now. Thank you, Albert. And uh, big hugs and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.